Hi guys, this is Dental Classes for you. Today we shall discuss on a brief topic that is swing lock dentures. What are swing lock dentures? They are a type of removable partial dentures which was introduced by Dr. George J. Simons in 1963. It has two major connectors, a conventional major connector like that of a lingual plate and a labial bar. This configuration is impossible to insert together. So here the labial bar has a hinge on one side and a latch on the other side as shown in the figure. So it is locked in position only after insertion of the denture. Because of this locking mechanism seen in the denture, it is referred to as the swing lock denture. There are small vertical projection clasps attached to the labial bar which will contact the labial or buccal surface of the teeth. These are present gingival to the height of contour, it provides retention and stability. Now moving on to the design and fabrication. The major connector of choice is the lingual plate in mandible and complete palate in maxilla. Sometimes the closed horseshoe can also be used in maxilla. Also a gingival resin mini can be processed on the labial bar to improve the aesthetics. Alginate is the material used for final impressions because it may be difficult to remove elastomeric impressions in the places of gingival embrasures due to bone loss. The path of insertion of this denture should be from lingual direction with the labial bar open. Chrome alloy is used for this framework. Gold alloy is contraindicated as the lock mechanism will wear quickly with use. Also, a lot of bulk will be required to provide sufficient rigidity and strength. The indications of swing lock denture. If there are only few remaining natural teeth, if the remaining teeth are too mobile to serve as abutments, if the location of the remaining teeth is unfavorable, as well as if tooth and soft tissue contours are unfavorable, also to provide retention and stability to processes like obturators, as well as for providing retention in case of loss of large segments of teeth and alveolar ridge due to traumatic injury. The swing lock dentures are contraindicated in case of shallow vestibules in high labial frenal attachments where the cases are unesthetic due to too much metal display which is due to short lower lip as well as in case of poor oral hygiene. Now moving on to the advantages. All or most of the remaining natural teeth can be used for retention and stabilization of the prosthesis. As well, a natural tooth can be removed and added to the major connector through a simple laboratory procedure. The construction of this type of denture is relatively simple and inexpensive. The main disadvantages of swing lock denture include relatively poor aesthetics in patients with short lips and tipping of remaining anterior teeth in case of long span distal extension bases. Well, that's all about swing lock dentures. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe.